We'll um, also uh, introduce uh, tonight's winning crew chief, Tony Gibson. Uh, Tony, give us uh, your thoughts of how tonight's uh, race unfolded and uh, your view from on top of the box. Well, we, we, had, a, we had a decent car. Um, we knew yesterday that the car was pretty good. Um, we didn't think it was a winning car, but it was a decent, you know, top ten car. So we tried to tried to work on it and not get our try to keep up with the racetrack. And uh, that was my biggest concern was not being able to keep up with the racetrack. Is it? But uh, me and Ryan did a good job communicating. I mean, his feedback was awesome, and that's half the battle. You know, when you get the right information and uh, we work together like we've been working the last couple of weeks, um, things just kind of flow good. So uh, for me, it was just uh, talking to Ryan and. And uh, figuring out what we need to do with the car, making sure we made the right adjustments, because you don't get many times to to pit here. You get a lot of green green flag runs. So, uh, you know, we uh, tonight we worked together really good, like we did last week, and we made the right adjustments, and and here we are. All right, we'll resume. Uh, any additional questions that we have? Questions for these gentlemen? We'll go back to Jim. We'll come back here. Jim Undershaw, Observer Tony. Uh, everyone talks about for crew chiefs um, the thousand things that you have to think about. Uh, to make the right decision. It seems like in the last few weeks um, or this season with double file restarts, multiple green-white checkered flags, how people now are taking deciding to take tires with two laps left in the race, uh, that the number of things that you have to kind of contemplate has grown considerably. Can you just talk about that? I mean, what is that just too much run around in somebody's head at one time? Well, it is. And, and you know, there, you got to think it could be three green-white checkers. So, uh, you know, that's what worried me tonight was taking on two and having a quick caution uh, and, and then letting the guys that took on four gain on us. So, uh, you know, that, that, that plays in your head the whole time you're trying to make a decision whether two or four um, because if we would have got another green-white checkered, those guys on four would have closed up on us and I don't know what would have happened then. But we were fortunate enough to get a good restart and, uh, and get out there and, and win the race. Um, but there's a lot of things to think about. I mean, uh, it, if you're lined up in the wrong line, like Martinsville, we had a shot to win the race there, but we just – we were in the wrong line, and if that line doesn't go, or a guy slides up into the side of you, you know your day's day's over. So, um, you know it's it's really hard. It's 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 difficult to make a decision, and you just hope and pray it comes out right the one you make. Do you, fo do you focus? Would you say you focus more on best case scenario or worst case? Scenario? Well, we 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 work on worst case scenario because with our luck and the way things going, we have to think that way. So. Um, you know that's uh, that's just the way we have to think. So uh, we think worst case scenario, what could happen, uh, and that's what we base our. Decisions usually, when on. we have no luck, it's a better day. Yeah, because <laughs> our, yeah. our yeah. any kind of luck is usually bad luck for us. Yeah, well, we've said that. Just don't give us any luck, and we'll 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 see how it comes out. Because most of the time, it is bad. I was wondering, um, as the laps are going down, um, what were you thinking before that caution became a fact? Didn't know. I mean, I thought we, you know, a top five for us was going to be a good day. And uh, two top fives in a row is something we hadn't had since, I think, May or June of last year. So, um, you know, I was, I was, I would say I was satisfied, but, you know, I wouldn't be satisfied with that. I was happy that we were, you know, com competitive, more competitive than we had been here last year. And, and um, you know, we'd made improvements as a team and as an organization, and that, you know, gives us an opportunity to win a race. And fortunately, the yellow came out, and we proved that. Thank you. Go to Jim, and then we'll come to Lee. Something else. Jim Noble with PRN. Uh, Tony Ryan has talked about his, his emotions. You kind of broke down the race from a strategic standpoint. What are were your emotions when it became pretty clear what he was doing, and that uh, you were going to take the checkers? Well, for me, I, di I, I didn't really get excited because, like I said before, we've we've been in this position, and something's happened. Um, so I, I didn't get excited until I saw the car come off the corner and headed to the flag. That's when I got excited and I knew we had it. So I didn't I didn't get excited and, and didn't get nervous at all because like I said, I, I know how quick things can turn around and you can have an issue and, and not finish the deal. But I got excited when he when I saw the front of the car come off the turn four, then I knew we had it. Is, is this as excited as you get? Well no <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, but you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's one thing. Alan, Alan Quiggy told us, you know, we we won a race, and I think it was Rockingham. We beat Bill Elliott there a long, long time ago. But um, we were all cheering and happy, and we were. He's looked at us and said, "That's what y'all get paid to do. You get paid to win." So uh, it's it's exciting for me. I, I know tomorrow I'll be pumped up and screaming and hollering, but uh, just trying to soak it all in right now. 
I think we got. We've been making good money for a long time, not winning, getting paid the same amount. So we're really happy. Yeah. Yeah. Lee Spencer from Fox Sports. I have a couple questions. First of all, who said, thank you, God, that's freaking awesome. I appreciate the hell out of that. I did. That was you? you thank just thank seemed... you, guys. Thank you, oh, guys. Oh, thank you, guys. It, it yeah. just sounded so subdued. It didn't sound like you. But anyway, and as far as you, Gibson, the guys that have stuck by you were with you with DEI, and then, you know, you brought the whole crew over here. What was it like for them to finally get to victory lane? Um, it was it was pretty big. You know, those guys were a lot of those guys were in tears, and because we most of us have been together for nine years, and um, you know we won with Dale Jr. and and um, and it had been a long stretch since we had won a race, so and we'd come close but uh, didn't didn't make it happen. So uh, it was uh, it was pretty exciting for those guys, and I'm I'm more I'm more happy and more proud for those guys. Uh, than for myself because I feel like I, you know, those guys have followed me wherever I've gone, so I feel like I owe it to them. And uh, to see those guys and hopping up and jumping down, it just brings back memories. Tony, you kind of answered it, but you know, can you tell us about getting your first win as a crew chief? I assume you thought it would come would have come earlier. Yeah, I thought like two years ago we were going to make it happen here at this like, same race, but um, it didn't. And then uh, we had four good shots last year with Ryan and uh, to win it, and I thought it was going to happen and uh, and didn't make it happen. So, uh, you know, we kind of let him down. So uh, I was beginning to wonder if it was ever going to happen, but I knew if we just kept the faith and we worked hard together that, uh, you know, our friendship is really strong and, and we we um, we work really good together and our communication is getting better. and. You know, we sit at, if we're having a problem, me and Ryan, or if we're not communicating right, or we feel like we, you know, there's something we need to work on, we'll call each other up, or we'll go sit down and, and we talk about it. And I think that's one of the biggest things that's helped us uh, over the last couple of months is building our relationship as friends uh, outside of racing. And, and I think, you know, we, me and him can sit down and yell at one another and tell each other what we think and, and get over it and go on. So uh, I think that's a big part of our success. Gentlemen. Uh, congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.